On a national average basis, households spend less than 9% of their income on groceries in 2012 versus more than 12% of their income 30 years ago, according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. Today's favorable spending ratio certainly doesn't reflect people eating less. Witness the record obesity level here in the U.S. Center store looks to be the reason why. We currently spend close to a quarter of our grocery dollars on processed foods and sweets. That's about double the 11.6% rate back in 1982. Cost shifts in meats, produce, baked goods, and other foods make the processed items relatively cheap per calorie, but not per nutrient. For millions of consumers who need the energy while stretching their food budgets in tough times, this is appealing. For those who crave the convenience and simplicity of packaged foods, the processed items are traffic draws. Take a look at these comparisons. All are today versus 30 years ago, and all reflect the percentage of our food dollar spend. Meats, 21.5% versus 31.3%. Fruits and vegetables, about the same, 14.6 versus 14.5. Grains and baked goods, 14.4 versus 13.2%. Beverages, 11.1% versus 11%. Now, dairy products were 10.6%, versus today's 13.2%. IBM takes a look at trust when the Lemper Report continues. When it comes to package brands and retailer marquee brands, today's smarter consumers exert a new independence. Because they can easily access alternative choices and product pricing information on mobile technologies and social media, they're forcing change in the way manufacturers and retailers approach them. The stores and manufacturers that win will be the ones that close the vast trust gap revealed in the 2012 IBM Winning Over the Empowered Consumer Study. According to their findings, just 17% of consumers in mature markets trust manufacturers to give honest feedback on product information. In growth markets, the figure is only slightly higher at 20%. Chief marketing officers prioritize trust building because consumers expect brands and retailers to be loyal to them, says the IBM report. This is a pronounced shift in consumer attitudes, a far cry we feel at the LEMP report from how shoppers view frequent cardholder programs, for example, which push them to demonstrate loyalty through purchase amounts, discounts, and frequency. To more consumers today, loyalty is a two-way street. And to earn it, brands and retailers should align with consumers' lifestyles, emotional needs and values. And the study shows that 64% of consumers say they need passion for a brand before they'll engage with it in social media. The top six reasons that consumers interact with companies on social sites are number one, to find a discount, make a purchase, read reviews and product rankings, read general information, read exclusive information, and learn about new products. Indeed, almost three quarters of the chief marketing officers who IBM surveyed conceded that their consumer product companies are underprepared in social media. The Lemper Report uploads right here three times a week with the information you need to stay ahead of the trends. For more, just visit thelemperreport.com.